Good morning, everybody. Dr. Mrs. P.O. Adeniki is my name. I'm in the Directorate of General Studies. GST 104, the first topic, health and living. Healthy living. What is health? Health is the level of functional or metabolic efficiency of a living organism. It is general condition of a person's mind and body, usually to be free from illness, injury, and pain. World Health Organization, WHO definition, according to them, health is a state of complete physical, mental, and social well-being, and not merely the absence of disease or infirmity. Health can be divided into two broad aspects. One, physical health, two, mental health. Physical health, now. It is a body which is healthy due to good nutrition, regular physical activity, that is exercise, and adequate rest. You need good nutrition, you need regular exercise, and adequate rest to keep yourself in good health. It is also physical well-being which a person can achieve by developing all health-related components of his or her lifestyle. We move to structural health. Structural health refers to sound bones, muscles, organs, that is the structures in the body to perform the functions that you need. Structural health also is associated with a person's height or weight ratio. That is body mass index, BMI. The resting pulse rate, that is your heart rate, and recovery time after doing exercise. You need to calculate your BMI, that is body mass index. We will calculate our body mass index in a moment. We now move to chemical F. Chemical health is the chemicals in the person's body. If it is correct, and if it contains the right balance of nutrients, and in the absence of toxic chemicals. Mental health. This is people cognitive and emotional well-being. You have to be well emotionally. You have to be well so that you can do whatever you want to do daily. That is the daily activities. According to World Health Organization, WHO, mental health is a state of well-being in which the individual realizes his or her own abilities to cope with normal stresses of life so that they can work productively 
and truthfully and uh, to be able to make a contribution to his or her community. Healthy living in general. To live healthy. Healthy living is making healthy choices every day that keep us fit physically and mentally. You have to make your choices in the food intake you have to make your choices in the type of exercise you do daily so that you can be in good health all the time. Developing good health habits can help you also to improve the quality of life and to avoid illness. The steps you can take to live healthy are the following. Number one, eat a balanced diet, an healthy diet. We have six different nutrients in food. And you have to eat these nutrients in food according to their proportion. You have to plan your meal according to the proportion of these nutrients so you can get the adequate nutrients and eat balanced diets. The nutrients are proteins, carbohydrates, fats and oil, mineral salts, vitamin, water, and so on. You have to reduce your alcohol intake or completely avoid it if you have history of alcoholism. Taking of alcohol is not a good habit. You have to reduce your intake. Or you don't take alcohol at all. The next point, do not smoke. Do not smoke. Because if you smoke, you are damaging your body and you are inviting cancerous um, cancer, you are inviting cancer because taking uh, cigarettes you are smoking and you can have the disease of cancer if you don't stop smoking totally. Avoid sedentary lifestyle, that's another point. And make sure you undertake regular physical exercise, as I told you before, and control your weight. Sedentary lifestyle is sitting in a place for long. If you are in the office, you just sit from morning to, to afternoon doing nothing. You have to go move about to do exercise and may, by um, walking around, not sitting in a place for too long. You have to form that habit to make sure you don't live sedentary lifestyle. Physical exercise is good for your body. You can join the gym. You can walk around. You can throw around. You can even jump around so that you give your body the exercise it needs so that you can control your weight. If you eat from morning to evening and you don't burn the calorie, it will hurt to your weight. So as you eat, you do exercise to burn the calories off. The next point, avoid developing high blood pressure or any chronic disease. This high blood pressure, um, taking excessive food that you should not be taking like uh, sodium, 
too much fat, too much carbohydrate can make your prayer to be high and you are prone to chronic diseases. You have to follow good safety practices of preparing your food, of living in a good environment, and so on. Do not indulge in drug abuse. You just don't buy drug and take it. If you need to take any drug, you have to see a doctor. If you are ill, tell the doctor your problems and the doctor will prescribe the drug for you. Don't just go and buy drug and be using it. That's drug abuse. Also, you should take care of your teeth because of dental caries. If you don't take the, uh, the proper care that you should take concerning your teeth, you can have problems with your teeth. That is why you brush two times a day. Brush your teeth in the morning and in the evening after eating your dinner, you brush also so that you can get the uh, problems of your teeth. We want to discuss this balanced diet so that you know what to eat at any point in time to get this balanced diet. Eating balanced diet is adequate proportion of each nutrient in your daily diet. It's very important. That will make you to live in good health. Food consumption should consist of fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and fat-free or low-fat milk products. If you want to take milk, you can take skimmed milk because uh, it is fat-free uh, milk. That will not add to your weight. Make sure you take fruits and vegetables daily. Include fruits and vegetables in your diet. Eat the smallest portion that can satisfy hunger. If it is the real meal you want to take, like your breakfast, your lunch, and your dinner, make sure you take the smallest portion to satisfy your hunger. And when you take that, you stop eating. In order not to make you overeat, if you overeat, it can hurt your weight also. Then we move to alcohol and alcoholism. You know, I mentioned alcohol before, that you should not take uh, excessive alcohol. If you want to live long and healthy, you need to control the use of alcohol. Drinking alcohol can change many brain functions, like emotions, like your thinking, and like your judgment. So if you take alcohol, it can control you, and it can affect your emotion, it can affect your thinking, it can affect your judgments. Alcoholism also can lead to serious diseases, including brain damage. You know, I mentioned cancer before. For those uh, that are smoking, if you take excessive uh, alcohol also, you can have cancer of the esophagus and digestive tract. You can have problem also with your liver, and also you can have problem with your pancreas. Smoking, when you say smoking, we are talking about cigarette smoking. It's a bad habit. 
and bad attitude that should, you should avoid totally. It should be avoided by all. Smoking has been associated with high death rate as a result of nicotine in tobacco. There is nicotine in tobacco that can cause problems for human body and if it is not controlled on time, can lead to death. Nicotine tobacco contains cancer-causing chemicals. That is, it can cause a disease called cancer. So you have to avoid taking tobacco or cigarettes. Tobacco use over a long period can lead to heart and blood vessel problems. You can see now. Not cancer only, it can also lead to heart and blood vessel problems. I mentioned sedentary life before. And I said, if you sit in a place for too long, you don't do exercise, you will be overweight or obese. Sedentary lifestyle is associated with little or no physical activities in people. This can lead to overweight due to the accumulation of fats. When you accumulate fat in your body, you will be overweight. In a moment, I will tell you how you can calculate your BMI to know whether you are moderate in your weight or whether you are overweight or even maybe you are obese. Excess weight and obesity have been associated with the risk of numerous diseases like heart attack, high blood pressure, stroke, diabetics, some types of cancers, elevated blood cholesterol levels. If your cholesterol level is high, you are prone to chronic diseases of different types. So you need to exercise your body you daily or you pick, you select some days that you'll be doing exercise, exercise around. Calculate your body mass index, BMI. BMI is body mass index and it's the measurement for physicians and researchers studying obesity. In order not to be obese, you have to calculate your BMI regularly. To calculate your BMI is very simple. You should know your height and you should know your weight. If you don't know your height now, go and take your height. If you don't know your weight now, go and take it. A person's weight in kilogram will be divided by the height in meters squared. And when you want to calculate it, you say BMI is equal to weight. Your weight will be in kilogram over your height. Your height will be in meters squared. Excess weight could lead to development of serious health problems. That is the reason why you must control your weight on time. Control your weight on time. The BMI is calculated as follows. BMI, body weight in kilograms, as I said, uh, over height in meters squared. It's a simple mathematical exercise. BMI, let's say your BMI is a 60 kg and your height is 1.76 uh, meters squared. Then you now say 60 kg all over 1.76 uh, meters squared. And when I calculated that, my result is 
19.35 kg per meter squared. With this result, that is 19.35 kg per meter squared, it can be concluded that the BMI of this individual is normal based on the following groups. Let me show you the groups that you are going to use to calculate your racing. Now, when you calculate your BMI, you will look at this table. Whether you fall into underweight, or you fall into normal, or you fall into uh, overweight, or you are obese, or even you are extremely obese. If you have 18 Point five less, you are underweight. If you are from 18.5 to 24.9 kg per meter square, you are normal. 25.0 to 29.9 kg per meter square, you are overweight. So you need to check your weight. 30.0 to 39.9 kg per meter square, you are obese. You are too fat. Eh? You are too fat. So you cannot control your body freely again when you are too fat. 40 kg per meter square and above, you are extremely obese. So don't joke with uh, obesity. Obesity is not good. Obesity is associated with different diseases. So if you don't want to, 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 to be healed or have any problems with your body, you have to reduce your weight. Reduce your weight before it is too late for you. To calculate your BMI, just your weight and your height to calculate it. And if you do your exercise daily, you should have measuring scale in your house. It's not expensive. Stay on the scale and measure whether you have reduced in weight. If not, you need more exercise. Walk around. You can even run. You can even go and do gym and make sure you, you burn the calories off so that you can have your normal weight. Medication and drug abuse. I think I mentioned drug abuse when I was uh, starting the lecture. Always take medicine as prescribed by the medical personnel. Go and see the doctor. Why do you go to pharmacy and say, sell this uh, drug for me? I need uh, this, I need that. Go and see the doctor. The doctor will diagnose what is the problem in your body and we prescribe drug for you. And when the doctor does that, you follow the doctor's advice. Take the drug religiously so that it can work on your body instead of just buying a drug and taking it. Taking any drug not prescribed can be risky. It can be risky to your body it can be risky to your health. So the, the, the combination of alcohol and pain killer or tranquilizer can be deadly. Some people, they take alcohol to relieve them of pain. They will take a pain killer, just anyhow. Tranquilizers, just anyhow. It can be deadly if you are not careful. Drug abuse is the misuse of prescription drugs and use of illegal drugs that can lead to anxiety. It can lead to hallucination and it can lead to withdrawal. It's a problem. Control yourself and make sure anytime you are healed or anytime you need drugs, you go and see the doctor and the doctor will prescribe the drug that you need for you. 
we have the determinants of F. Determinants of F. The health of individual uh, and their communities the, uh, are affected by a wide range of contributing factors. The following factors have a big impact on our health. Than access and use of health care. Where we live is very important. Where we live, your environment. If you have neat environment, or you are dirty, or you can't even clean your environment, the state of our environment we determine the state of our health. So if you have dirty environment, I will encourage you to make your environment very, very clean so that you can enjoy your good health. 